given the rectangle triangle we see on the screen it is rectangle because of this 90 degree angle we have right here we are asked to calculate the trigonometric functions of alpha and that means that we have to calculate the sinus of alpha the cosinus of alpha the tangent of alpha the cosecant of alpha the secant of alpha and the cotangent of alpha the cosecant, the secant and the cotangent are the inverse functions of the sinus, the cosinus and the tangent as we have a rectangle triangle first we are going to calculate the missing side of the triangle, the hypotenuse and as, as it is a rectangle triangle we, we can apply Pythagoras theorem it is that it says something like both of the, the addition of the legs squared is equal to the hypotenuse square so this is 2 squared that is 4 plus 1 squared 1 is equal to the hypotenuse square 4, 4 plus 1 is 5 that is equal to h square where h would be plus minus the square root of 5 but we will only take the positive sign because it is a, 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 a side of course it has to it has to have a positive measure and now let's calculate the sinus the sinus of alpha is equal to the opposite leg divided by the hypotenuse and that is as we have two legs, the two and the one, the opposite leg is the leg that doesn't touch alpha, and that would be in our case one. So on the sinus we have one, the opposite leg, divided by, divided by the hypotenuse, the square root of five. Now let's leave the result like that, but I mean we will we'll use the result like this in this form for calculating the inverse function. But for getting the result the we have to rationalize this and rationalizing is multiplying by the square root of five, that's by the denominator. So we can get rid of the square root and the denominator. Now multiplying this we will have the square root of 5 divided by the square root of 5 squared There's the root and the square goes away and the sinus of alpha is equal to the square root of 5 divided by 5 and now the inverse function would be very simple for calcul to calculate the square root of 5 divided by 5 and we, we, we would have to turn it around but we have to rationalize it so taking the result we calculated previously the 1 divided by the square root of 5 let's write it in up here turning it around of course as, as it is an inverse function and we will have the square root of 5 divided by 1 and that is equal to the square root of 5 now let's go with the cosinus of alpha it is a contiguous leg that is the leg that touches alpha divided by the hypotenuse the square root of 5 now rationalizing this we would have 2 divided by the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 divided by the square root of 5 and the result would be 2 times the square root of 5 divided by the square root of 5 squared the root and the square goes away and we will have 2 times the square root of 5 divided by 5 and as we did previously we're going to take this result for calculating the inverse function as we don't have to rationalize it so the second of alpha would be the square root of 5 divided by 2 
Now let's go with the tangent. The formula for the tangent is the sinus of alpha divided by the cosinus of alpha. And that is very simple. The sinus of alpha, square root of 5 divided by 5, divided by the cosinus of alpha, 2 times the square root of 5 divided by 5. Now, the division of fractions just is just doing a cross multiplication. 5, then the square root of 5 times 5, and now 5 times 2 times the square root of 5. And simplifying this, all of the 5's and the square roots goes away, and the result would be 1 half. So, the cotangent of alpha would be the inverse of the tangent, 2 divided by 1, that is equal to.